Hi, uh, my name is Matthew Bischoff, and this is an app critique of the app called Learn Your Lines, Memori Memorization Made Easy. So this app was submitted by its developer, Andrew Cope, and he asked us for some feedback on the visual design and user experience of the app. Andrew is an actor, and he made this app because he was having trouble memorizing his lines. So let's take a look. I'm going to open the app. And we got a quick splash screen there that had the logo of the app. It was um, in dark mode. I'm just going to take a look at that one more time by killing the app and relaunching it from the icon. OK, it goes away pretty quickly, and it sort of has this uh, flashing effect because the app loads so quickly, which is really nice. Um, I would recommend for Andrew to uh, rethink that splash screen and instead of having it be based on the icon of the app to follow the human interface guidelines there and actually have it look more like the unloaded interface. That'll make the app feel like it's launching um, even faster. Let's take a look at what we have here. So we have uh, something called My Collection, which has um, a poem called Still I Rise uh, twice. I'm not 100% sure why it's here twice, once by Maya Angelou and once not. That uh, could be a speed bump for new users of the app. Um, so I think if you're going to have onboarding type content like this built into the app, that's really nice. But um, consider just having one thing or a few things that are that are varied, not the same thing here twice. Uh, could just be a bug. So I'm going to tap the button at the top left here. Um, we have sort of a about screen explaining the app. Um, this screen is okay. I like the the blur on the background. It's sort of nice and provides context. I like that it's one of the iOS 13 modals that I can swipe up and down. However, it lacks um, hierarchy. It's sort of written like a letter, and we have these centered buttons in the middle of it, and I can't tell what Andrew really wants me to do here, whether it, whether emailing him is, is the most important thing to do, whether rating the app is the most important thing to do, or visiting this website. So I would look at um, examples of other apps that break out these actions uh, in their settings with different rows, icons, and colors, and making a little bit more visual hierarchy here so that I understand um, what I'm supposed to be doing on this screen. But let's get out of here since this isn't really the point of the app anyway. Um, so I could... Uh, pull to refresh. I don't know where that data is coming from, and there is a bit of a jump on the refresh animation, if you can spot that. Um, that's usually uh, just a bug with the way the refresh was implemented. Um, pretty minor, but I thought I would point it out since I saw it. Uh, then we have this Add New button here. Looking at that, um, it has a very, very, very slight transform. When I tap on it, you can barely see it. I would make that highlighted state uh, much, much more obvious. And I'm not sure about the background uh, color and, and just general theme of that button. It feels a little bit muted to me compared to the button on the left where these colors are really bright and saturated. We have this sort of muted button, which is the primary action of the app, adding new lines for me to memorize. So I would um, think about that in terms of color hierarchy as well. Let's tap Add New. So I can pick different new things to add. Uh, lines, say I'm memorizing a speech, a monologue, or a poem. And there's also a catalog, which is really nice, of built-in uh, monologues and, and poetry and speeches. So let's find something in the catalog. Um, I can see here that uh, there's a search bar. I would put some text in the search bar. Um, maybe search the catalog, maybe search for a title. Give me a little bit more context of, of what I'm searching there. Um, so let's tap in. OK, uh, let's search for a monologue. Let's just see what happens. OK, this is not great. This is a dead end. Uh, so I searched for something that I thought might, might be something that's in this app. And I, I don't think that there was anything titled with monologue. Um, it might be good to search uh, metadata, not just the titles. But also, I'm not sure what this shape here is at the bottom. That seems like it could be a bug. We also have a filter button. Um, that presents a popover, which is not really recommended to do uh, on iPhone. Popovers are more of an iPad UI. I would rethink this as potentially an action sheet or a different bit of custom UI. Um, or if you're going to keep it a popover, uh, at least make the popover the full size of the content. Um, that way it's not cut off, even though we have plenty of space on this screen. I'm going to back out of search. Go into lines. Nice selection states on those table views. Uh, performance scrolling, like you love to see it. 
uh, let's pop into Soupy Sue's uh, um, Urine Town monologue. I've been in Urine Town, so I'm familiar with these lines. Um, so great. We can see that some of the lines are highlighted in green. I'm not 100% sure why. Uh, since these are all different characters, I'm not sure if the intention is for to, uh, those to all be one character highlighted green. It would be great to, to understand more as a new user to this app what the green highlighting means in this, uh, but I'm going to add it to my collection. So I tapped add, popped back out, and now it's in my collection. Worth considering if that should go straight into it or if it's better um, for your users and the way that they're using the app to come back to the screen. So I'm going to tap in. Great. So there's different scenes. Um, and we can look at the full text. We can look at settings for this, which only has really one setting, reset progress. Um, for something um, that for, for something that has only one setting, it's taking up a lot of uh, room in the interface to have this be an entire tab of this segmented control. I would consider moving that somewhere else, um, maybe into this edit action at the top right. Um, we can see a progress bar at the top here that is tappable, but doesn't do anything when tapped. That's a bit confusing. Um, and the segmented control itself, the begin memorizing button, the edit button, all these things feel really crunched together and also really at the same sort of psychic or psychic weight or importance level in this hierarchy. So again, applying um, typographic and color hierarchy using different font weights here to make it clear that begin memorizing is really a thing that the, most users should probably want to do if they've added this to their collection, edit as more of a secondary action. So I'd move that out a little bit. And then we have this contrast between the back button, which doesn't have a border, and all of the rest of the buttons in the app, which do have borders. I would consider um, unifying that as well. So let's begin. OK, so Lines would like to access my microphone. Um, it says that it needs access to the microphone for, for test features. I don't really know what that means as a user. I think that that copy just was probably added in development and should be rethought. It, it should say something like, learn your Lines needs to access your microphone so that it can help you learn your lines, so that it can record your voice and check if you've learned the lines. Something that makes it clear why I'm being asked for this permission. I'll hit OK. And now it seems like I have uh, sort of three steps at the top. I like this title, subtitle uh, in the nav bar at the top here. I am feeling some weird weight and contrast issues with the two buttons, um, the close button and the gear button. They feel like they're different different uh, line weights and so they don't feel like they're from the same uh, they don't feel like they're from the same designer or from the same set of icons so I would I would look at making those more consistent um, read more listen and repeat okay I'm gonna tap begin this button is a bit too small now mrs. Pennywise we've had to make special arrangements with people in high places over the years why not let this one be one of ours um, I screwed that up a little bit so you you go through the lines here I like this um, play fast forward pause interface everyone understands how those buttons work what those buttons mean I can skip forward I like the uh, highlighting of the text as the lines are read I would worry a little bit if colorblind users or colorblind actors are using this app that those might not be high contrast enough and so I would be curious to test this app in with the accessibility setting of high contrast mode enabled and see if that is uh, indicated in another way. It's an area for potential improvement. Going along here, sees him. Okay, and there's a gasp. You can see that you get not just your lines, but also your cues. And what you can't see in the video is that there's really nice haptics as these lines uh, move along. And that, that reminds me to look down at my phone as I'm memorizing the lines, which is nice. Um, I'm gonna go over to the Memorize tab. So this is a mode. So we have three modes for each one of these uh, sets of lines in our, in our collection, read, memorize, and test. Um, I'm not sure about the color choices uh, of a stoplight. I would not like to associate reading the lines as, as being the red of the stoplight and memorize as being like proceed with caution. And I think that that's the correlation that's being drawn here. I think of it more as a general uh, progress like like I'm moving forward in terms of first I'm reading then I'm memorizing then I'm making sure that I did it and so I think um, maybe a gradient or a progress bar or a a way to to symbolize um, achievement or progress over the red yellow 
green would be good here. So let's tap begin on memorize mode. Uh, so here there's a flashcard type interface and I can um, tap on the line if I forgot it and get that highlighted for me. If I remembered it, I can uh, say the line and it will confirm it. So let's see, it's looky there. So if I go here, looky there. Uh, maybe that's not how it works. Oh, maybe that's in the test thing. So I've, I've gotten a little bit confused already. Um, couldn't really find a tutorial for this app in the app. There may be one available online, but I was thinking that Memorize would already be testing me, but actually I realized while going through this that that's later on in the test step. I think a little bit of onboarding, a little bit more um, explaining that to the user is required here because this is an interface that they've likely not used before. Um, I can skip along with the bottom here. That is nice, although, and it's a it's a nice big tap target for me to for me to scroll through the lines. Although I don't really understand things about how long this is, how many there are, because uh, it's just a solid bar of red right now. And I assume if I I would have some way to get those to turn to green, maybe in the test step. So let's try that out. Say lines after your cue. Swipe up to continue. Okay, begin. Oh, no, I don't know the line. I better go look it up. Hold on. I'll just go back here. Let's get back. So here I can't swipe. I have to use the forward back buttons. It would be nice to be able to swipe here as well. Um, what is the line? It's a bit hard to tell with this example because there's a lot going on. Let's try a different, simpler example with only one character. I'm going to go to monologues. Um, Romeo and Juliet, sure. Add to collection, tap in, begin memorizing, listen and repeat, even or odd all of the days in the year. Wait, is this speaking? Let's see. It says listen, but I'm not hearing any audio. That could be because I'm plugged in, so this may be reading this, this audio to me, and I'm supposed to repeat it. Um, it's hard to tell uh, the way that I'm making this video, so that could be part of the confusion there as well. Um, let's see, memorize mode. Oh. Press and hold to reveal. Okay. Even or odd, of all the days in the year, come Lama's Eve, at night, shall be, shall she be 14. Okay. Test. Oh, so this is different. So when you're just memorizing a monologue, you have a different uh, test thing. I can swipe along, hold along here, and reveal it. Let's see if I can get the microphone to work. Even or odd, of all the days... Hmm. I can't tell that it's how it's grading me, if it's grading me all the time, or if it's grading me um, just at the end. And I'm not sure what this level up button does. It does appear to be taking me to more of the text blurred out, which is nice. Um, then there's a record button once I get to the top level where I can record the entire monologue. Uh, but I don't know if it's grading me or if I have to grade myself. So that's something that could be clarified here. Uh, it also gives me a read speed to control and whether I read in memorization mode. Again, I'm not sure about the popover choice here. I would probably move this into Maybe the setting screen from before, although I do kind of like it here, maybe just in a um, sort of a bottom card that pops up, sort of like the, the maps bottom card interface. Also, there's a, a two different background colors going on here. One of these cells is larger and has the blurred background of the popover, and one of these has a standard a, a static background. Now, that may be because I'm in dark mode. That could be a dark mode bug, uh, but it does appear to exist in light mode as well. Okay. What else can we say here? Can I delete? I'm trying to swipe to delete these. I can. That's great. There's a bit of an uh, animation issue with the deletion. This, this cell, when I delete it, should slide off the screen to the left, but instead it sort of fades and collapses up. That's just another implementation issue there. Overall, I think this is a really, really useful app for actors, and I saw that in the App Store reviews, tons of folks 
are using this uh, to memorize stuff for uh, productions. I just think the interface could uh, could have a little bit of polish, uh, and that might that might be hiring a designer to just give it a once over, um, or it could be sitting down with the human interface guidelines yourself and opening up maybe Apple's uh, sketch document and seeing how things are put together with these uh, default controls, the the default margins and, and uh, layout margins and spacing for these controls, and just cleaning it up a little bit. Um, but I think this is. Uh, this is useful as it is. I just think it could be a little bit friendlier for new users. Um, and that's my feedback. So I hope that helped. If you have any questions um, or if you'd like your app critiqued, you can find me on Twitter at uh, twitter.com slash MB. Um, and you can fill out the form to get your app critiqued at bit.ly slash app critique.